Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, just a quickie. Stop laughing at the back. Um, I wanted to just quickly touch on the charity auction that we just had and give you an update about that. And also talk about a few kind of related things. So, um, for those of you unaware, we recently did a charity auction of um, a framed Airfix Spitfire. Uh, now, this was sold in aid of Models for Heroes, a charity that I'm very uh, fond of. And uh, the auction was won by a chap who goes by the sobriquet of Sledge. So, thank you, Sledge. Um, he won the auction. Uh, he has received the model and is very pleased with it. And in turn, the money has been sent on to Models for Heroes. And they are very pleased with that. So, everybody's happy. Um, I'll tell you how much we made in a minute. But it did kind of make me think about a few things. And the reason is I got contacted by a couple of people who bid on the model and a few people who missed the auction saying, would I make them one? And here's the thing with, I don't really do commissions. Um, you may have noticed I tend to build on a bit of a whim. Uh, I, I think of an idea and I build it. And even if I don't have the kit, I'll go and find the kit or I'll build thing or print something or whatever. Um, but I don't really do commission work. And part of the reason for that is because if someone says to me, build me this kit, um, I kind of lose interest, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. But it did kind of make me think about this kind of subject. Um, obviously, I build a lot of kits and what do I do with those kits once they're built? Uh, some of them I keep, some of them I sell, um, some of them are gifted to people. For example, the Freedom 4 that I made recently uh, is currently residing with Bunnykin. Um, she really liked that model, and to be fair, she bought me the kit in the first place, <laughs> so it was a bit of a no-brainer to, to let her have that one. Um, so things like that. But it did make me wonder, and this is where I kind of wanted to get you guys' um, thoughts on this. So feel free to comment in the thing. Um, what do I do with these kits? Because some of them I want to keep. Um, there's one I'm working on at the moment that I will definitely be keeping. Um, but there are certain ones that I build that I'm not really that fussed. And the trouble is I'm ending up with a house full of models that I don't really have anywhere to display or anything. Um, so I suppose the question is... Would you guys be interested in more of these charity auctions? Not necessarily specialist stuff like the Spitfire, but it's like the Mustang I built recently. Um, you know, that's now just sitting on a shelf in my workshop. Um, you know, maybe something like that. You know, it's not anything particularly special, but, you know, again, as a charity thing, it might work. Uh, I did actually, I've had people offer to send me stuff in the past, like, oh, well, if I send you this kit, will you build it for me? And again, I'm not overly, not really a thing I'm really that keen on. Um, I did toy with the idea a while back about getting a PO box because I don't want to give out my internet, well, my address on the internet because, you know, weirdos. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like I don't want people turning off at the house. Um, not you guys, but, you know, there are weirdos out there. Uh, but I looked into getting a PO box and they are ferociously expensive all things considered. I think the cheapest one uh, that I could get from Royal Mail was about like 30, nearly 30, 40 pounds a month. And I simply cannot justify that expense. Uh, so that that idea kind of went by the wayside. Um, it's still something that I would like to do in the future. But the trouble is at the moment is I don't make enough out of YouTube or Patreon to cover it. Um, and while my Patreon supporters are fantastic and I am absolutely blown away by the support I've had from them, uh, they are quite few in number. And this is not me trying to, you know, guilt people into funding me on Patreon. It's just a simple truth. Um, so there's that. But I suppose the, the, the question is, as I said, is, it, you know, perhaps in future, when I build certain things, would you guys be interested in doing more of these charity auctions? Or, you know, if you've got any other suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments because I'm, I'm keen to get you guys' feedback. Uh, so that's that. 
but I'm sure you're now more interested in how much did this thing actually raise. <laughs> um, well, the winning bid for the auction was a grand total of £66, which is very generous. Um, and as I say, uh, this chap Sledge has paid for it. He has received the model, he's very happy with it, and the money has gone on to Models for Heroes. Uh, I would also like to thank everybody else who bid on it, um, because there, there was a bit of a bidding war, uh, which was kind of interesting to see. So, but as I say, if it's something you'd be interested in seeing more of in the future, please do feel free to put it in the comments and we'll see, you know, what we can do. So that was it really, just a, a quick update on the auction and where it's led to. So there you go. So uh, as usual, I'd like to take a moment and thank my top tier patrons, um, Howard and Amy, for their continued support. Uh, much appreciated, as it is with every one of my patrons. It really is. Are these guys really do mean the world to me it's, it's not even like the money it's just the fact that they're willing to you know fund my lunacy is very um helpful very very much appreciated um and obviously you guys here watching you know thank you it's always uh, quite gratifying to see people watch my videos um and i hope that they are helpful in some way so yeah uh as i say this was just a quick update so we will see you on the next video cheers Bye.